Did you learn when you were young that you could get pregnant basically whenever, wherever? Well, that's not true, nor is it possible. We don't always learn when we can actually get pregnant. This is what this episode is all about. So let's have a look at the cycle, the follicular phase and the luteal phase, before ovulation and after ovulation. And if this is the length of your cycle, say 28 days, this is the time where you can actually get pregnant. As you can see, not exactly a big percentage of your actual cycle. This we call the fertility window because this is the time during your cycle when you're actually fertile. Whilst men are fertile every single day, we can only conceive in this part of the cycle. It lasts for approximately five days before ovulation until one day after. Very important, not everyone ovulates on day 14 like in this cycle. So how do you know when you ovulate? One way to find out is to look at the patch in your knickers or look at the paper after you wipe. Yeah, you heard that correctly. After or during your period, your estrogen levels start to rise, which stimulates the production of something called cervical mucus. This stuff is magic. You've probably heard that sperm cells can survive in the uterus for up to five days. Well, not without cervical mucus, it can't. Sperm cells aren't magical. Cervical mucus is. But what is it exactly? Have you ever noticed something in your panties that look kind of a bit like egg white and is stretchy if you put it between your fingers? That's cervical mucus. More specifically, it's peak cervical mucus. There's also something called non-peak cervical mucus, which doesn't stretch between your fingers and it kind of looks like white hand lotion. Very important. Both are fertile and both can keep those sperm cells alive for five days. So let's have a look at the cycle when we are fertile. Particular example is a cycle of 30 days instead of 28. The follicular phase lasts for 16 days and the luteal phase lasts 14 days. See how it's not completely split in the middle like the previous one. Your fertile window will be approximately five days before you ovulate until one day after. Say for example, your period is five days. Then you have a few days between your period and your fertile window where you cannot conceive. And the egg that is released during ovulation will only live for approximately 24 hours. Once it's not viable, you're infertile for the rest of your cycle, which means in this period, you cannot get pregnant. There's simply no egg to be fertilized. So if you're trying to conceive, this is the time when you should be doing it. You can do it as many times as you like in this phase, but it won't result in a baby. And if you're trying not to conceive, don't do it here unless you're wearing protection. This is not a good time to be testing out the pull-out method. I'm just saying, chances are you'll be unsuccessful. <laughs> so there you have it, the fertility window, when you can actually get pregnant during your cycle. And just remember, you're either fertile or not fertile. There's no in-between. After all, you can't be kind of pregnant. Either you are or you're not. Did you learn something new? Or do you have any questions? Let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. See ya!